Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless you all, family. Watch out for what is coming in this month of June. Hallelujah, it's too big for you to carry. Watch out for what is coming in this month of June is too big for you to carry. In the name of Jesus, I use this medium opportunity to welcome each and every one wherever you all are joining. In the name of Jesus, you are coming across this prophetic word or this YouTube channel for your very first time. God bless you. The Bible says this is a day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad. And once more, it is a privilege and not a right by the help of the Holy Spirit that I'm here again with a new word in this new month of June in the mighty name of Jesus. Once more, happy new month, family. Happy new month. Thank you so much for your love, your support. Thank you so much for always being there in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is prophetic blessings. If you have not yet been part of this family, please, I go down on my knees. I beg on you. Tap the subscription button to become part of this family. Remember, the Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. You cannot be under grace and your disgrace. And I pray for somebody, you will not be disgraced under disgrace or in Jesus' mighty name. At the place of prayer, as the Lord opened my eyes, praise Master Jesus, I saw something that is about to happen in this new month of June. I saw something that is about to happen in this month of June. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I was praying at the place of prayers, I saw a lot of people standing somewhere like expecting. Hallelujah. I saw a lot of people standing somewhere expecting something. And as I was watching the group of people and the Lord says, May is wrapping up and, and June is coming. Then the Holy Spirit took me to this scripture that says, For the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off short. Hallelujah. So expectation is a weapon. So whenever you are expecting something from God, you must put your expectation into practice. Expectation must be put into practice. Where have you been believing and expecting God? So at the place of prayers, I saw people expecting God in the wrong place, in the wrong position. So when the Lord showed me this particular vision, then I saw an angel that was released from heaven to tell them that no, this particular position is not where your blessing will meet you. Like the angel gave them direction to leave the place to another location. As they left that particular place, their expectation came true. I don't know how many people are watching me, but child of God, I'm speaking to you. The Bible says, but the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. So the Lord gave me this vision for me to share it with somebody. And make sure you're receiving this word as receiving this prophetic word as a direct confirmation in your life in this month of june how are you preparing or how have you started your month of june praise master jesus look at the position the bible said the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off short where are you expecting god there are places that you expect god you will never see god let us check ourselves and life as individual maybe your position from january has been a place where where you could not see god and right now, God is telling you to change position. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord, there are people under the sound of my voice. You are about to make a particular decision and the angel of the Lord is telling you, no, you need to shift. You need to change position. You need to be in another place. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Romans, I think chapter 9 verse 18. Hallelujah. But I know it's in the book of Romans. It says, for the next expectation of the creature are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of man. So therefore, expectation is, is, is a weapon. So everything you desire to, uh, to have are also expecting you, hallelujah, to, to reach at that level where they will come to you. So whenever you don't ask, whenever you don't put that expectation into practice, your life will remain the same. The Bible said the prodigal son came back. The father celebrated, killed a sheep, prepared a feast. The elder brother complained that I have been saving you diligently. But the father resp responded to the, to the elder brother, you have never asked. So there are blessings where you must put into practice. What are your expectations in this month of May? In this month of June, I mean, the Lord said in this month of June, he's giving direction to each and everyone. What is coming is too big. The Lord says you tell somebody, as you journey in this month of, of June, let your expectation not be cut off short. If you do not want your expectation to, to be cut short, there are some places you need to leave. There are some comfort zones you need to leave. There are places whereby as long as you're there, you cannot hear God. The prodigal son decided to, to come back to his senses. Somebody, you must come back to your senses. 
There are places where has been leading your life in, in a very wrong way. There are places where God has been speaking, you have not been hearing God. Child of God, there are a lot of places. I'm not here to name one or two things that, that might be a limitation to us. But I want you to get ready, prepare yourself that this month of June is different. Hallelujah. It's a month with a different. It's your month of moving forward. It will not be like me. May has wrapped up with his own problem. This is a new moment. May your expectation not be cut short. Start this day with faith. Start this, start this moment with bonus, with bonus. Be happy. Expect that all your dreams will come true. For in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for somebody watching and connecting. In the name of Jesus, in this new month, I dedicate this month into the hands of the Lord. As we journey in this month of June, whatsoever thing that we expect from the Lord, may God richly bless us. For in Jesus' mighty name, as I lift up my hands, each and everyone watching and connecting, I dedicate and lift up everyone into the hands of the Lord and before the Lord, that may God take over. We, we are tired. We have come at the end of our strength. Let God take over. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I use this opportunity to thank each and everyone for your love, family. Once more, happy new month. I thank you for your support. A lot of people has been a blessing supporting through Super Tans, through Super Chat, through Za, for the work of God to move forward. God bless you, family. A lot of people has also been surprised, be supporting through PayPal. God bless you all, family. I really, really appreciate. I don't really know what I have done to marry this type of love, but I know it's because of our God, the love of God that has connect and bring us together as a family. God bless you, family. I love you so much. Please, if you have a prayer point, drop it at the comment section. I will get back to you. For in Jesus' mighty name, I love you so much. Once more, happy new month. Enjoy your moons in abundantly. For in Jesus' name, amen.